For example, let's say we move around the compound and we see this object. And we use this to look around the object. And we identify the object as uh, IED. As IED. As IED. Excuse me, let me put it. Next part, we know if that is, you can see of some cable there that are used to wire the IED. And immediately an expert sees something like that, we will find we uh, just realize that this is a bomb and we need to handle it immediately. And by that, we just use our uh, IED to, uh, the EOD robots to pick up the IED. I mentioned during my last year's press conference that AFIT had developed and successfully test flown two versions of unmanned area vehicles could name Amebo 1 and Amebo 2 respectively. I'm equally delighted to inform you that Amebo 3, which is an improved version of Amebo 1 and 2, have been designed and produced to higher precisions. However, Amebo 3 still awaits test flight because the NAV do not have a trained unmanned area vehicle pilot and efforts to resort to the service of foreign pilot either to employed were largely unsuccessful. Consequently, the chief of the air staff, as a visionary and innovative leader, commenced training of NAV UAV pilots here in Africa and 301 FTS, and this training is up to international standards. It is my pleasure to inform you that the pilots are making significant progress in their training. They now conduct some of their training flights with the NAV Amebot 2 in preparation for the test flight of Amebot 3 and its subsequent series after production. Furthermore, in our research efforts, following the incessant bomb explosion being experienced in the country, I informed you last year that AFID had commenced the research into the development of a robot capable of remotely diffusing high caliber bombs and disposing improvised explosive devices, IEDs. I'm indeed pleased to inform you that we are making remarkable progress in the research. As you can listen, you can listen to something making noise coming in I think that should be the uh, robot coming in for display. A prototype of the robot has been developed and is being displayed now, as you can see it coming in. As a testimony to its research and development efforts, following the design, currently ongoing project on the development of an indigenous famous innovative research projects in Nigeria, organized by Federal Ministry of Science and Technology. The Institute entered into a collaborative venture with its equivalent in Brazilian Air Force, that's ITA of Brazil. The collaboration will enhance exchange of research ideas and staff development. These measures are geared towards positioning the Nigerian Air Force for the innovative application of technology, which is one of the cardinal drivers upon which the vision of the current chief of the staff, Air Marshal Alex Abundu Bade, is anchored. It is also gladdening to note that some state governments have indicated their interest in partnering with the Institute towards the development of indigenous technical manpower innovation sector for their respective states of these two great leaders. The research activities being undertaken at AFI come with huge 
financial implications and resources required for AFI to fully operate cannot be borne by the Nigerian Air Force alone with its limited resources. It is in this regard that we once again honestly seek the passage of AFI Establishment Act. It will be recalled that the bill was earlier passed by the national by the last National Assembly, but could not be assessed to by Mr. President, causing it to lapse. The AFIT Establishment Act, when assented to by Mr. President, will open the Institute to greater funding. And with greater funding and political support, AFIT, for instance, could develop its UAV program to produce operational UAVs that will find use in pipeline and power line monitoring and area surveillance. This will ultimately reduce incidents of vandalization and sabotage. The UAV could also be used to enhance internal security through the provision of timely information when effectively deployed in crisis-prone areas. Although organization